specific word I'm looking for. Attitude. Where's me and you, Rex? Uh, Mental toughness. Strong attitude. Strong attitude. Okay, what about you, Ed? Um, how much pressure you can take without breaking. Without breaking, right? There you go. Optimism. What does it mean to you, Ever? Mental toughness. You have to mentally be in the game and not let yourself get down off of little things. Mental toughness is determination. Huh? Determination. Determined mindset. Mental toughness is a trait that every successful person has. I don't care who it is. If there's one word that you can associate with mental toughness, it's grit. 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 The ability to work hard and respond relentlessly to failure and adversity, yeah. or the inner quality that enables individuals to work hard and stick to their long-term passions and goals. Right? Successful people don't let the little things get to them. They don't let fear stop them from doing what they need to do to get the job done, to accomplish those goals or dreams they have. Mental toughness builds the foundation for long-term success. The good thing is you don't have to be born with it. It's something that can be developed. Okay? So when you talk about you know, dealing with adversity, dealing with obstacles, dealing with shortcomings, setting goals and failing, you know, just little things like that. Mental toughness is what's going to continue to help push you through the hard times, right? So I have a list of things that will help you become mentally tougher and as a result more successful. Number one, always act as if you are in total control because you are. Who's in control of your future? You. You are. You are, right? I'm a prime example, right? You can be a product of your circumstances or let your, your environment be a product of you, right? You have to believe that if you succeed, you caused it. And if you fail, you caused it. You caused it, right? You take responsibility and you hold yourself accountable no matter what. Whether you're, you're having success or you're having failures, you identify where it is that you fell short, fix it, and move forward. Don't, wait, don't waste mental energy worrying about what will happen or what might happen to you and put all your effort into making things happen. Okay? Happiness is a choice. You can change the direction of your life just through free will and choice. We make about a thousand choices a day. Start asking yourself questions like, if you can have your life any way you like it, what would it be like? Are you going to let your own bad mental attitude get in your way? Right? We talk about the law of attraction. Law of attraction works both ways. Right? If you look for negatives, guess what you're gonna find? Negatives. <laughs> negatives. If you if you try to look at your glass half full and try to just think positive about every situation, you start to it starts it, it creates a, a, a level of uh, uh, it's just, uh, the mindset. Your mindset changes. It, it, the world starts to move out your way. It allows you to do things that normally you know wouldn't happen. Right? Law of attraction works both ways. Two, don't worry about things outside of your control. Mental strength is like a muscle strength. It is unlimited. Why waste energy on things you can't control? When you talk about the intangibles, right? Things you can't control are things like, you know, um, traffic flow. You can't control uh, demographics. You can't control, you know, certain things in the stores, you know, but the things you can control is your pitch pace, your attitude, how you attack each day, the effort that you bring forth. Every day when you go home from work, are you thinking like, I laid it on the line? You know, did I, did I give my best effort today? Did I bring the best that I could? Right, every day. Number three, see, past, uh, see the past as a training ground and nothing more. Right, every experience that you go through, it, 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 you can take something from it. Sometimes you guys look at negative situations and you allow them to, 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 to knock you off course or, 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 or you focus so much on them that you don't see past them, right? So when you talk about, um, you know, the, the, the obstacles that you are, everything that you go through is meant to develop you. Like, you know, when I look back over my life and the things that I had to go overcome and things that I had to, um, uh, you know, just, you know, uh, go, through. go through, everything that I've been through in my life has prepared me for where I'm at today. Every little aspect, from the adversity I dealt with as a child growing up, to some of the obstacles that I faced as an adult not making the right decisions, um, you know, everything. I can look back on it and I can take something from it, right? Um, I was in a, some of you guys don't know this about me, but when I was 15, I went to one of those boot camps, right? My mom was like, this guy's out of control. 
Um, so I'm gonna put them in boot camp. So I went to boot camp for three years. And not in boot camps where like you're trying to be a general. I'm talking about boot camps where they're trying to, they're trying to, you know, straighten you out, right? Yeah, so breaking. you know, um, I remember going through that phase in my life and thinking like, man, you know, like there's a lot of times where people say I can't do that or there's no way I can do that. And I've been pushed to that limit so many times that I've realized that I, I'm, I'm, I'm capable of a lot more than I thought I was. You know, when you put your back against the wall and you're, you're faced in certain situations and you have no other choice but to succeed, right? And I put that analogy about burning books. It's the same thing, right? So just drawing strength from the things that challenge you, right? So you work out, right? Yep. When you first started working out, right? Because you didn't get to where you're at today nope. overnight, right? Nope. It sucked. I know. I just started trying to work out. I tried to do it for a couple months. My arms hurt, so that was my excuse. <laughs> but I'm gonna get back to it, right? But like the initial part of working out is very challenging, right? Sometimes you don't see results. It sucks. Your body starts to feel weird. You know, you start to hurt muscles. You know, you tear muscles. And when you tear muscles, some people look at that pain as like, damn, right? But in, no in weightlifting. If the more muscles you tear, the stronger you're going to become, right? The more we yeah, the, the, the more replenishes, right? It comes back tenfold. So it's the same concept here. The juice. Um, learn from your mistakes and the mistakes of others. Your past doesn't have to be your future. Get excited. You made um, you made every mistake in the world. Get excited. The people you trained didn't stick. It only helped you identify what you did wrong and help you grow into a better person that you are now. Okay. Celebrate the success of others. And this is hard for some of us. We're so damn competitive that not only do we want to win, but we want to see the other person lose, and it shouldn't be like that, right? If you have that mentality, you will only go so far in this program, right? So when you see somebody else succeeding in this business, right, maybe you started out in a training class, and the person out that was in the training class with you, they're, they're, they're taking off, having instant success, and it's maybe taking a little bit longer for you to pick up on things, right? Don't focus on them. What it should tell you is that they're just like you. They came in the program just like you didn't know our program, and they, they know it, and they're doing it, so therefore, therefore I can do it, right? When I came to the business, I talk about it all the time. I had an owner that got promoted out the same time as me into Houston. He had instant success, had 100 grand saved in his first year. Rather than look at that and be bitter about it or be envious or angry that he was successful and I wasn't, I looked at it like I know him. If he could do it, I could do it. And maybe I'm not shining right now, but eventually, if I put in my work and I put in my effort, eventually I'm going to get my results, right? So when you see other people in the business having better results than you, you know, be humble. Like, be like, all right, that should make you a believer. Seeing is believing. Perception is everything, right? It's one thing if we tell you that there's people making a thousand bucks in the office and there's nobody making a thousand bucks, but when you've got examples left and right, when I when I come in the board, if I, if if you were me, or if I were you, and I came in here and I seen that board, I see no, I'd be like, okay, it's capable. I'm going to shoot for 2500 bucks because I know there's somebody in the office right now that's doing it. That, that would motivate me. So I wouldn't look at him and be like, damn, why did he make, he's not that good. Or he, he you know, try to find kinks in his armor like, oh, the only reason why he does this is because of this. Or, you know, like I'm looking at like it can be done. You know, so, 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 so um, celebrate the success of others. Many people think that they, they see others do good and it should uh, be them in their shoes or that it's only so much success to go around. When someone else shines, they think that uh, that takes the light away from their own star, which isn't true. That's not a good mindset. That resentment takes a lot of your mental energy that can be better applied somewhere else, right? Don't have an ego. Celebrate and figure out what they're doing. Uh, reach it, reach out, network, and see what you can do better. Pride and ego live on Broke Street, just so you guys know, okay? Number five, never allow yourself to whine, complain, or criticize, right? It's easy to do, we're all human beings. Sometimes, you know, we don't recognize it, but we're a little bit more vocal with the negatives than we should be, right? The negatives are there. Be more solution-oriented rather than focusing on the problem. Your words have power, especially over you. Whining about your problems only make you feel worse, not better. Greatness is born through adversity. Stop wishing it was easier and wish that you were better. Stop wishing for less problems and wish for more skill. It's called falling forward when you get knocked down. You get back up. Winners never quit. Quitters, quitters never win. As long as you don't quit, we'll keep on winning. Don't, <laughs> don't, complain, don't complain about going on a road trip and getting uncomfortable. Those who change the most win. Those who struggle the most teach it the best. What happens, to, what, what happens to you happens to everyone. It's how you deal with it that's going to determine the direction you go in life in this business. Maintaining your attitude. Your attitude is contagious. Is yours worth catching? Did you just hear what I said? I said, maintaining yeah. your attitude. If your attitude was contagious, is it worth catching? Right. Yes. Right? Think about that. 
Just make sure you have a little better tomorrow than you were today. See, the problem is you're just trying to get the day, you, oh, excuse me, sorry. Just make sure you are a little better tomorrow than you, than you were today. <coughs> See, the problem is you are just trying to get by the day you have to learn from the day. Okay, so you're just trying to get by, you need to learn from it. Don't complain about being in Costco even if you're, telling, if you're sitting on a zero. Put in the, uh, put, put in the work up front, front and loaded. Do what you, uh, do, do you want to play now and pay for it later? Or pay the price up front and play the rest of your life? Right? Yeah. So you, like we talk about all the time, doing right now what most people won't, so later you can do what most people can. Six, focus on only on impressing yourself and others. <coughs> no one likes you for your clothes, your car, your title, your accomplishments. Those are all things people may like your things, but that doesn't mean they like you. Our business is, a bi is big on building relationships, and a relationship built, built uh, based on substance is not a real relationship. Right? Genuine relationships make you happier as a person. You'll only form them when you stop trying to impress and start trying to be yourself. Don't worry about what others think. They don't pay your bills. When you do this, it'll allow you to focus on developing yourself. Mm -hmm. Work a job, make a living. Work on yourself, make a fortune. You have to develop wisdom. If you, get, if, if you were to get paid the money, at, at, I'm getting paid, what would you do with it besides spend it? What comes before wealth is wisdom. Okay? When you develop wisdom and you begin bettering yourself and you gain confidence, and you gain confidence, you begin to believe. When you believe, you become committed to the cause and develop a strong mindset. You want people to follow you in this business? People are never going to follow a crybaby with a weak mindset and a weak mentality. They want to follow people that are strong and committed to making it work no matter what the situation they're in. Number seven, count your blessings. Some of you guys are focused so much on what you don't have and what you want and where you want to be. Be good for what you have now. If you, if, if you woke up today with everything that you thank God for yesterday, what would you have? Get more. Some of you guys look at your situation and you just, you, you nag out about it, right? You know, we, we, we did the Feed the Homeless, who, and it puts things in perspective. We go down there to Owen Street and you give these guys a, a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to see how happy they are. You see how much they appreciate how, how appreciative they are or damn peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and, and we're crying over, you know, oh man, I'm late on my payment. Damn, at least you got a car. <laughs> right? You know, it's just, it's, it's, just, it's just how you look at things, right? So just learn to be grateful. Because if you're not grateful, if you're always envious or you're always thinking you need more in life, you're never going to have enough. Be grateful with what you have now. Take a second every night before you go to bed, and in that moment, stop worrying about what you don't have. Don't worry about what others have that you don't. Think about what you have, and you have a lot to be thankful for. Feeling better about yourself is the best way of all to recharge your mental batteries. Right? 90% of what we do is mentality, 10% is ability. And we've proven this because we get people from every different walk of life, every background, every experience level that come into our program, they learn our system, and they're successful, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's all in how you, you attack the situation, right? 90% of this is mentality, right? It doesn't take the, the strongest or the smartest or the most educated or the person with the most experience. It's the person with the most grit, the person that can go through obstacle after obstacle and still stay excited. The definition, definition of, of success is being able to roll through these obstacles and just not lose momentum. Right? Some people look at people that, you know, like, like for instance, uh, was it Tom Sedison? Tom Sedison found 10,000 ways that didn't work not to, to not to, like, right? He failed. He failed 10,000 times at trying to produce light. Right? And some people will be like, man, I would have quit. Like, what, what kept you going, right? He just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. And all it took was that one time. Right? And that's how you got to attack this situation. You know, attack it like knowing that, you know, maybe I didn't succeed today or have the best results, but every day that I put forth, every time that I, 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 I crack at, at the wood, eventually it's going to topple over. Eventually the success is going to be there. If I do what I have to do, if I continue to push forward, you got to believe that. Six, uh, failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. Juice. 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 You know? Think about it like that. This program, you're going to have ups and downs. There's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times. There's going to be times where you have money and you're doing well. There's going to be times where, you, where, you, where you're struggling. And you're, you're trying to figure out counting hours, right? Like, oh, man, <laughs> I, I was here for that, like, right? We've all been there. It's not a joke. It's, I've been there. I've been there. I'm, I'm keeping it real, right? I'm keeping it real, guys. But what, 
keeps people going through this program is that mental toughness, just knowing that there's something bigger at the end of the road, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's an end game, right? I just seen a post from my, my wife a uh, year ago, right? And she, 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 she mentioned uh, the fact that, you know, it felt good to her, like sometimes she complains, right? She's always complaining about how she's stuck at home, right? She's like, oh man, you know, if we have a team night and I don't invite her, it's a big deal, right? She's like, uh, she wants to be part of everything because she's always stuck in the house, right? From one aspect, that could be as a negative, like, oh, I'm, you know, having babies, I'm stuck in the house, you know, I want to be, it's Women's Day, I want to work, you know, this and that, whatever, you know, but, you know, t uh, this day last year, my daughter was really sick. She had a cold, it freaked us out. We were like, you know, you know how it is. You know, the minute something's wrong with your child, you go, you just like, everything else stops, right? Man. So, um, <laughs> right? you know how it is. Right? Yeah, well, I'm just saying, right? No, I know. The other day I went to the store, I lied up his head, he, he's gone. He was like, get the store, I'm going to, you know, make sure that my son's okay, which is cool. He called me, he let me know, but I understand, I have a baby myself. But um, the post from last year was my girl acknowledging me, you know, and it's, it's good to be acknowledged every once in a while, but she was grateful for the fact that she was able to stay at home with my daughter during that time. You know, that's, that's, these are some of the things that motivated me like through the business. These are things that I focused on going through the program. You know, so um, whatever it is that excites you about the program, you know, you guys gotta, you guys gotta dial into that. You know, when you talk about having that vision, part of what we do is creating a vision for yourself, right? Seeing yourself in, in 20, hindsight, or not, future, future, future side, you know what I'm saying? So you're, you're seeing yourself down the road five years from now, and where you're gonna be and what this business can do for you. You know, it depends on you. you, you this business is merit-based. You get out what you put in. You put in 80 cents, you can get out 80 cents. You're not going to get a coke. So that's how it works, right? Mm -hmm. But if you put in a full, full effort, you have the right mental capacity and the right good work, the good work ethic, you know, the, 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 the uh, mental, toughness. mental toughness, the character, you tie all those things together, and obviously the results, you know, the results will show. Mm -hmm. um, grit. That's what I want you guys to think about. When you guys are going through your hard times, just remember that grit. You know, remember what what you're doing it for, the why behind the what. We talk about it all the time. Okay, um, it's Friday, got or excuse me, it's Wednesday, Hump Day, right? So we're still we're still stacking for this week right here. We're gonna do a March Madness bracket next day install. So we're doing next day. Next day. Like, so tomorrow, you guys, you guys can still stack this 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 um this week. You guys can still stack your paychecks. I, I'll give you slack for some of you guys. You guys are sitting right there on commissions. You guys can make you know an extra 100, 200 bucks on your paychecks this uh, today and tomorrow if you really put forth the effort. Um, we're gonna do a March Madness bracket. We're probably gonna start it on Thursday. Um, it's gonna be double elimination against each other. The prize I haven't decided on. Um, I was thinking about something different. Not TV. Um, not a TV. <laughs> TV's the curse. The last two TVs I gave out, I literally gave them out, and then the person didn't make it. So we're not doing TVs. TVs are bad. So we're gonna do. We might do. Um, we might do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, who was Laptop. That we gave the TV to Chris. Yep. Yeah. Both, both oh, Chris's. Yeah, yeah. Both Chris's. Yeah. Chris. Chris. Chris and Chris. Yeah. Both won TVs and. No, they're no longer here. Chris, hands over here. Yeah, so, so we're, 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 we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do something different. Um, I, I, I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go. Uh, I, 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 I'm a big of a good prize for you guys to have. Uh, we also have keys that's coming up next week, guys. So a lot of us are going to be out of the office for the first portion of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, things are business as usual. Um, these meetings are designed for leaders, obviously, to teach you guys, um, you know, obviously, the meat, meat and potatoes of the program. Um, so put yourself in a position to be able to attend these meetings. We have um, our regional meetings that's, com that's coming up, and then we'll have another keys, you know, and the top leaders, uh, you know, in a couple months or whatnot. So just put yourself in a position for that. Um, road trips, if you guys are interested in road trips, we still have a ton of road trips that um, we need help on. Um, you're never too early, so if you feel like you've gotten past the initial training and you're interested, let me know. Um, I definitely would love to, you know, get the help and support with that in our organization. Um, walkout watching, guys, needs to be attached to every order. It has to be. Like, there, there's no reason why it shouldn't be. It's 25 extra bucks in your pocket. It makes all the world a difference, right? So um, if a customer, like I seen somebody put on a thread last night, oh, the customer didn't want it. They shouldn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. It's part of the process, sir. Mr. Mr. Jones, the last thing we need to do, fully activate your, and I'm not saying they don't have a choice like you're, you're pushing on them, but you know, you just make it part of the process. Mr. Jones, Steve, hey, you know, to fully activate your account, I need you to download this application. Okay, it's gonna allow you to access all your, you know, your account information. You'll see your full channel lineup. Um, if you ever leave the house and you forget to record a program, you can set your DVR to record from your from anywhere. Uh, and last but not least, you can actually stream live TV before your point of vista. Here, let me show you. 
you know, and you go ahead and you show them, but you add that to every account, right? There's never an option like, hey, Tim, can you, can you download maybe, this application? I'm, I'm, I'm shoulder to shoulder, like, all right, man, last but not least, this is the last thing we need to do to fully activate your account. Matter, matter, of fact, fact, make it, matter of fact, make it as you fill out the paper, like, because if you think yeah. about it, if you added paperwork to it, so we have to fill that out as well. Exactly. Like, if you have, you have to do the app too as well, like, look, we're going to fill out the paperwork, we're going to do the app and fill out the paperwork. At the same time. So 100. Hey Ed, yeah. can you can you actually download that for me, please? Yeah. When no, you're shaking your you're head. Shaking your head. Shaking yeah. It's no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's all. It's, it's just. It's just, just taking. It's just take, taking control. You know. So just making sure that we're incorporating this. Like I said, guys, they're grading us. Um, on, on specific things, one of the things is not just sales. Obviously, we, we, we've shown that we can do you know top performance sales. That's good. But now we want to lead the pack in other ways. We want to be the, you know the best in class. We want to be not 30 percent, but 100 percent walkout yeah, watching. Okay. You know, when we talk about the ad check, everybody's using the ad check. It's streamlined. It's just part of our process. This is how we do things here, right? Yeah. So um, compliance is always a, a big deal right now. They've got a compliance team that they just hired. Excuse me. That um, that they're focusing on your image. So just making sure you guys no tennis shoes in the stores. We're wearing uh, you know regular you know uh, dress shoes. Dress shoes. We've got slacks. The slacks are black, blue, gray, or khaki. No pockets. Khaki, like no pockets, no side pockets. Like that color, that color, no those color pants. pants. Oh, okay. No yeah, those color pants, but just like khaki, yeah. right? No, but no, cargo. No, 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 no pockets, no cargo no pants. Okay. We have our shirt with the DirecTV logo on it. If you, you can't wear um, a shirt with no logo on it, it's not approved for Costco. So your DirecTV uh, shirt, you got your your badge. You know, um, you know they're looking for how you pitch them. So are you are you like, hey, you guys, you know, you see what Costco's doing for members? Or are you just like, hey, cable or satellite? You know, if you use the whole cable or satellite, you'll get you'll get a bad review on the secret shop. Um, are you giving the correct information? Are you engaging with members? Are you on your phone? All the obvious things. But they have a team that they just spend a whole lot of money on that right now. Secret shopping, like I want to say, all the stores. We just got secret shopped in Colorado. Just you know, we take pride in not having any compliance issues here. Let's just make sure that we're all on the same page when it comes to that. The, there's no gray area. If you get a compliance issue, it's like a one strike you're out type thing. Like I don't have. It's not. Well, he, he, you know, he wasn't. You know, I just, just don't put yourself in a position. Okay, I don't. I don't like. I, I take, take pride. Compliance is a big deal here, and we just we just don't have any room for it. Cool. Right, so you guys just make sure um, everybody's on the same page with that. Like I said, we're stacking today and tomorrow, and then we're gonna start stacking for next week. Make sure you have four by Sunday night to work a full uh, full work week. Um, and then uh, the bracket, I will post, and I'll let you guys know the prize. Do you guys have? If you guys have an idea of something, um, I know I just got a Roomba. PlayStation. A Roomba. Roomba. Roomba's cool for those of you guys. That know. PS4. 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 A PS4. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have you seen the new Samsung tablet? The tablet, no, like no. 16 inch. Oh, dude, sick. Okay. Well, I, I have the 12 inch, so I'm going to look no, at that. No, 16. Yeah. Like so. a, okay. So, you know, PS4. We, we can do something. Yeah. Um, yeah, PS4. PS4. Yeah. So we need to do a, you'll have yeah. your choice. PS4. You'll have a choice between a PS4, or Xbox. Um, a Xbox. I think Nintendo just came out with something new. Yeah. Yeah. The Xbox yeah. One at Costco, right? And Nintendo. Right? PS, yeah. they're the both PS, right. PS4 at Costco is better. Gotcha, gotcha. So, you guys will have the option. You'll have the option between a gaming system. Those of you guys have kids or you guys are big kids yourself you guys can take advantage of that um, both all right so other than that guys uh, you know let's go out there let's make it happy it's hump day it's national women's day show respect to all the women all the women in the store that are that are actually working acknowledge them hey hey cheryl hey man glad you're here today we want to let you know we appreciate you you know just you know you know little things like that you know obviously we, we, we focus on building relationships in these stores um, you know, women's are a large part of what we do, ladies. You know, so just make sure. Uh, I'll, I'll be here without one. I was decked out. I was like, "They better be at work today." Nobody better be here. <laughs> leave my story hanging. Like we got problems. No, <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for showing up today. We definitely want to let you know, not just today, but every day. We appreciate what you guys do. You know, just uh, ladies. You know, uh, you. you know, obviously. We us appreciate men you guys too. Yeah. We don't have a men day. We don't get thought of on that day. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, let's go out there. No excuses, just results on three.